Over the course of this past year, I've been secretly conceptualizing a bunch of ideas for future projects, ranging from small to very big and complicated ones. And to be honest, I don't quite have the skill sets nor the confidence to accomplish most of them. So I spent these last couple months building myself a team that would, in a way, help me with these future projects. I was looking for people that would be willing to dedicate thousands of hours of hard work without complaining, who would never give up no matter how challenging things would get, who can survive extremely harsh conditions for days of the consumption of a single banana, and last but not least, people that would be ready to worship me at any given moment I raise my hand. I know that my requirements may sound specific, but I did find a one civilization that make it their mission to serve the biggest and baddest mastermind out there. They just happen to be a little bit tricky to conceive out of household items. Now, any sophisticated project requires some good planification. I started by averaging out the circumference of a ball using some simple mathematics to come up with a pattern that would mimic the curvature of a sphere. Then, using different colored markers, I came up with a color code. The green marker would indicate basic measurements, the blue one would be for everything I would sew, and lastly, the pink one for everything I would cut. In addition to mathematics, I was gonna have to use a lot of magic. Whoa, I did not see that rabbit disappear. Now, considering that most of this project was going to be made out of fabric, the sewing machine was a must. Sewing might seem really intimidating at first, but I promise to you, if you give it enough time, it's not that bad. It's all about being patient, and I don't want to be bragging or anything, but I consider myself quite patient. next step, I had to find a way to convert these three wooden rings into some awesome looking goggles. Instead of using some actual glass for the lens, I used some plastic glass. It's basically just transparent plastic. The concept was actually quite simple. Every single piece would be sculpted differently, creating different layers for the goggle. Then I connected everything using some glue and clamps. Once the glue was dry, I gave the goggle a few layers of silver paint. I also pre-drilled some holes before putting on some screws to avoid any cracking, but you know what, it still did, it's wood. This is kind of personal, but I personally prefer my eggs sunny side down, so this poached egg container won't be necessary to keep. Dinosaurs were known to lay some pretty big eggs. Eggs are also an excellent source of protein. I then glued on some eyelids using some hot glue and trimmed off all the excess. Here's more facts about eggs. The platypus is one of the only mammals to lay eggs instead of giving birth. Oh, I wish I was a platypus. Now, this following step revealed to be itself quite tricky. I had to be extremely precise and use some double stitch needles and some thread to create some amazing detail and elegant overalls. I literally made dozens and dozens of patterns and prototypes for this part, but it turns out that making overalls isn't that easy after all. This project took a lot longer than I expected, but you know what? I didn't give up, so take that project. All in all, I am extremely satisfied with how it turned out. So yeah, never give up on your goals because you honestly never know how things are gonna end up looking. And now, prepare yourselves to embrace the awesomeness of the Dream Team. Settle down people from the internet. I know it's awesome, but they're all mine and only mine. They're not to be given away. I'm keeping that. But if you do want to build yourself a team, I wrote a book. I wrote a... I wrote a book. It's technically more of an ebook than a book, so you can't really buy it in stores. I'm no published author, but... Whatever. The book is meant to work hand in hand with this video, so all you gotta do is check out the links down below for more information and build your own team. 
because this one is mine and I'm not giving it away. Now, the actual purpose of this whole project was not necessarily to build myself a team, which turned out to be pretty awesome, but to experiment and discover new skills that I can then channel into future projects. And I couldn't be more excited to share all of them with you guys, but I really want to make sure that my skill sets would be up to the challenge before I'd fully commit. So I guess you can consider this video as some kind of practice and teaser to what's to come. And just like this video, you just never know what you're gonna get.